So the past 24 hours, I feel like I've made it, I don't know, pretty clear. George, winter is here. Yes, it is. It is here, and then bone and chilling cold can mean frozen pipes. It can mean busted water heaters, and then the list goes on and on from there. Fear not, homeowners. Lance Smith, <laughs> Valdez Smith Plumbing, is here to lay some plumbing knowledge on us, including the stuff we should have on hand yes. to prevent plumbing catastrophes. Okay, this is like preventative maintenance, George. And, and uh, Lance, this is year-round. Yes. Stuff. You, feel, you mm -hmm. brought along some things that you wanted to show us that we should have in our stead. Sure, yeah. Four things, uh, regardless of the temperatures, uh, that I always recommend homeowners keep around. One, this is a little drain device um, for small drainage issues where it can go down in the drain. Uh, and pick out, you know, hair or yeah, other unclog. gunk. And, yep, sure. exactly. Another item is just your basic hose washer. Um, you can always use these for those outdoor garden hoses. Always uh, great to have around to put because those fail from time to time. Third thing is just a pair of uh, what I call channel locks or tongue and groove pliers. Um, those are great for just, you know, tightening a, a hose that may become a little loose or something like that. And fourth, uh, last but not least, a uh, handy go. dandy plunger. Anything <laughs> from a small sink clog to bathtub clog, and of course the toilets. Right. Always it never hurts to have a good plunger around. There so. you go. But of course, now that these temperatures are dipping, even more important perhaps, what can we do? I say preventative maintenance because it's like do things right now before things go terribly wrong, perhaps. What advice, what tips do you have for us right now? Uh, in regards to the cold weather, um, the first thing, if, if it gets really cold, just making sure. One, you, leaving faucets that you've had trouble with in the past or those lines that have frozen up, let yeah, them drip the overnight. Drip. Okay, I wondered if mm -hmm. that was a thing, like if you do need to drip or if that's not something you need to mess with. No, it, you know, usually when you get 20 or 20 or below yeah. um, is the first thing that I mentioned. The next thing, insulating pipes are in, yeah. that are in exposed areas. Now, how do you feel about heat tape and putting them on pipes? Uh, I have mixed feelings about it. You know, it, it's great if you if you have a consistent power source for it. What we see a lot of times, though, is the power source or the batteries uh, die. But if you mm -hmm. keep on top of those, sure, that, that, that works great. And then you also say seal those cracks as yes, well. Yes, good one. Um, you know, where ductwork comes through the side of the house or something like that, when the air can get in there. Mm -hmm. Also, crawl space vents, you know, uh, closing those crawl space vents uh, that can allow air into there once it gets cold is, is another good mm -hmm. one to look out for. And w one of the things that we did recently was take all the hoses off of our outside faucets. Good one. I totally forgot about that. Oh, I yes. haven't done that yet. Uh, yeah. yes. So take the hoses off. Take the hose off because those can retain water and then freeze back up into the faucet and uh, oh, cause that. damage to the faucet. So yes, that is a very good one. Is How this, about me, huh? Well, there you go, yeah. George. You can just yeah. end this right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so any final tips? I always wonder, like, what, what's one of the biggest mistakes or biggest uh, complaints or calls that you guys get this time of year, the most common? Frozen pipes. When would the call will say, like, I have no water here or I have a burst line in my oh, crawl no. space or yeah. somewhere in the wall? And the, yeah. the burst won't happen usually until the temperatures heat back up. So normally, historically, the, uh, the freeze happens overnight when it's colder, and then once it, the sun comes out, and thaws it, it'll burst. Sure. Um, you know, one other thing is knowing where that main water shutoff is. Uh huh. Uh, you know, to, to turn that off once they burst, um, so you can shut the whole house down. Or if you're out of town for a long period of time during the winter, um, you know, for those that may have a separate home or something down south, uh, turning the water off when you're gone so if something does happen. Uh, it doesn't flood the whole house. Yeah, especially if you're, like you said, if you're planning on going on a short vacation, get yeah. out of yep. town for a while. And, uh, and are we in any less better. danger with like some of the PVC pipes and the ho almost hose-like things that we have now as opposed to the old school metal pipes or can they all? Probably in better shape, you know, certain hoses for hooking up appliances have a stainless steel coating now that can help if that freezes. Uh, a lot of our the metal piping, copper and galvanized, we're, we're installing what's called PEX now, which is mm -hmm. it can expand a little. So I would say okay. probably in better shape. The only issue is when it comes to thaw it, we can't use conventional uh, machinery to do that. You just have to get heat on it, whereas yeah. the older metal piping was easier to dethaw with you know some dethawing equipment. There you okay. go. Right. He All is right. Lance Smith, the source of plumbing light and knowledge. <laughs> Thank you so much, Lance. Appreciate it. Of course, uh, QR code there on the bottom left-hand corner of your screen.